next day, I was taken by Lisa to Deepwater Bay to meet a friend. Mr. Lister Wu has represented Hong Kong at various international races and also coached numerous competitive and corporate dragon boat teams throughout the years. Natalie! Now let's just grab it over here. Yeah, we got okay. it. You got that yet? Okay, like you'll, this? Be on, you'll be on this side. Oh, this if side. that's okay. Okay, okay ready? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't get very far over here. <laughs> Why are we going in a circle? Wait, is there a cafe at the end of this road? Almost. <laughs> Let's get it together, guys. Timing. One, two, count your head. Three. So, Lister, how long has this festival actually been around? It's been around since 1976. Well, it started out in the harbor in Tsim Chui. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a long time. So this is primarily just in Hong Kong? Yes, this is a Hong Kong international race I'm talking about. Okay. But, but the race has over 2,000 years of history. 2,000 years of history they've yeah. been doing it in China? In China. Wow, right. okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, give me another number. How many participants are there? There are in Hong Kong about 300 teams. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. Hong Kong alone? Just Hong Kong alone, 300 teams. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. What are the distances? Are there? Is there one that's like the 100 yard dash? You know, the. Uh, the the official one is 500. Okay, but they can go anywhere from 250 okay. all the way to 70k. 70k? Yeah, that's yeah. a long time to be rowing. Intense. The traditionally revered dragon roars its way down some of Hong Kong's most popular waterways in full force every year. And there's more than just roaring happening in these parts, let me tell you. Hong Kong's traditional festivals are a colorful and noisy affair, attracting thousands upon thousands of people. Now, if you're looking to find out who the real stars of the festival are, then look no further than the fierce-looking boats that are raced furiously down the island's best waterways amidst a lively and vibrant spectacle. Obviously, a dragon boat is supposed to be shaped like a dragon, so you okay. have the beautiful dragon tail, and all along the sides of it, it needs to have scales, of and very colorful scales like you would imagine a dragon would have. Okay. Very long body. Very like flamboyant. Dragons, very flamboyant. Mm -hmm. So, he said that the back of the dragon boat is for steering, so okay. this guy holding the oar is really going to tell you whether you're going left, whether you're going right, steering the whole boat. Okay. And then we come to my favorite bit. Oh. The radio. Yes. This is yeah. like a dragon boat radio. Yes. So I love this part because this part, obviously, you've got the drum, you've got the chair. Mm -hmm. In the chair, you can have a woman or a guy. Anybody can sit up there. But right. they have to have good technique because mm -hmm. even though it's a race for sports, you still have to look good. That's that still makes part sense. of it. So you have to look good. Yeah. So this person is keeping the time. So as they're drumming, they're keeping the time. Okay. And they're going to dictate whether you need to go faster or slower. And they also dictate the length of your strokes. So different sounds mean different instructions for everyone in the boat. Oh, fantastic. Yes. This area here is the brains, the nervous system. This is the nerve it center. All, yeah, it all runs all of that. That's right. Thus, like a dragon. That's fantastic. right. Exactly. Okay. And then, of course, you have the dragon head up at the top. Very symbolic. Very symbolic and very beautiful. You guys want to try dragon boating? Yeah, Let's but not 70k. No, no, no. no, no we're no. just gonna go uh, like with 10 short paddle. meters. Exactly. All right, okay. I'm ready. Let's, Let's, do okay? Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. All right. When I said I was interested in witnessing this event, I didn't mean I was ready to do some serious paddling myself. But I didn't want to seem like a wimp in front of Lisa, so I agreed and was sent careening my way down to Dragon Boat Oblivion. Here goes nothing. Lisa and I begin with much gusto, but two or three minutes in, and we realize this frantic paddling is awfully hard work. Oh, God, you guys, I can't do this much more. You do well. Thank you. Well. The frantic paddlers rowing in unison race to reach the finish line. To everyone's surprise, we actually looked like we knew what we were doing. Lisa, what a bunch of swell guys and girls, and what a fantastic time to be on the water, right? It was amazing, and I believe that we are practicing with the winning team! Yes! yes! That's right. Have your speeches ready, darn it! That's right. All right. <laughs> the eats, the sounds, the energetic crowds, the smells, gotta love it. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Back to you at the studio, Jamie. That's right. Hope you had a great time. I know that we did. Mm -hmm. See you guys soon. Woo!